Hey, look, a hook tusk. There are no demons. Percussive therapy device. How to fix Murlocs? I don't think Murlocs need to be changed. I think Murlocs being the most powerful. I've said this many times. I think Murlocs being like the the generally most powerful end game thing in uh, a lot of uh, in most games is like something that's there's going to be something that's the best, right? Under a long enough timeline, something is going to have the ability to become the most powerful. That being Murlocs, I think is totally fine. Um, I do think that like the the, the biggest thing to me. Uh, with Murlocs is that uh, the addition of Felfin Navigator gives them a really strong mid-game too. I think like that, like th that if anything is like what you want to like, you know, look at is like, okay, well they can be, what are the phases of the game at which they're powerful? And the answer is actually basically all of them. I think that, that like them just being able to get like this outrageously powerful late game composition is like fine. Just as a makeup unboxing, ooh. <laughs> well here, this is, um, let's hack this. Hey, look. I'm just gonna level. It's got a little carrying case and everything. Hashtag not sponsored. I need to plug this in. Aha, here's the, the cable. Everything you're seeing in this game is fair and reasonable. Yeah, this is hook tusk doing hook tusk things. Oh look, what do you know? Give me a gold grubber. Unlucky. Hello, Eudora. This extra extension cord is over here. Right, we're charging that. Yeah, th this is just going to crush everyone at this stage of the game. This seems like a typical hook tusk six gold turn. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Classic hook tusk things. You said they will always best something hook tusk is fine. Well, it's different, right? It's very different. The thing that is, that is powerful and best is something that, like, everyone has access to throughout a game or something that, like, one person gets in the game that they start with. Right? The power level of a hero versus the other heroes compared to the power level of, like, a tribe or strategy in the abstract within a game is very different in a draft game, right? Because anyone can draft Murlocs in a game. And frankly, if a particular uh, tribe is generally viewed to or is the best, there's kind of the self-correcting nature of, um, well, more people are fighting for it, so, let, you know, the people who... Uh, who try are like gonna struggle or at least some of them are gonna struggle trying to get it Trance Vitera with the 14 months jungle harmdinger with the two months. Welcome back I'm just gonna level to five I think like this can just carry me so hard I can also just hack this and try and get like eh, I'm just gonna go try get tokens I'm just never gonna get a token. All right, we'll take a rock pool We'll buff this. I'm leveling to five like, this just carries so hard at this stage of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if we just win this fight despite spending all of our gold leveling. Just because Security Rover, relatively speaking, is incredibly powerful. This is eight gold turn, right? Security Rover can just solo people. Okay. Well, there is the one threat to Security Rover. <laughs> oh, we got it. Cleared it off. Okay, well, Security Rover is just going to kill everything now. There it goes. Killing everything. And I'm level five. Just hook tusk things. Okay. So, hmm. These are interesting. I don't think it's worth just like buying these two. 
Let's hack this. Maybe just roll. I'm just gonna roll. So we could just level to six. How strong is AF? AF just took 13. Okay, I'm leveling to six. Hey, it costs one less. Boom. <laughs> now I get to roll once. Um, I'll freeze this. There's a Gold Grubber, a Light Fang Enforcer, Gurgle. Okay, we're gonna lose this fight. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're level 6 on 9 gold. Okay, and we're at 30 health. Okay, so we're gonna buy Gold Grubber, we're gonna buy Light Fang Enforcer. Um, let's hack this. Should have done this first. Another Kindly Grandmother. I guess I'll take this Kindly Grandmother in case maybe we get a triple. Let's buy this and then roll. Okay, so I'm gonna play this, play this, play this, sell this, roll. Hmm. So now we have, like, this is gonna, these are both growing off of this, this. I'm gonna freeze a Megasaur. Let's go like this. These are kind of bad, but they're kind of whatever. Mm. This thing's pretty annoying for me. Yep. Just the big divine shield guy. Nothing else I have is quite that big. Daryl things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's hack this for a th three. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, well here's where we're at. Hey, Simon Talbot Comedy, thanks for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hey. There wasn't a Megasaur there. I definitely would have frozen for a Megasaur. Hey, with the seven month resub, welcome back. Are you talking about the earlier Megasaur? Yeah, we're not... Um, hmm. Was your last opponent? It was... You. You had nothing I want. Goodbye. <laughs> Are you actually funny? <laughs> called out, called out. We probably want to sell this to try and get it into the pool so we can be rolling for it. That was good. That was less good. Ugh. Okay, well, we're losing this fight. Alright. Kind of small, 
Small loss. Small loss. How many years have I been streaming? I've been streaming full time for five years at this point. Let's sell this. Hmm. I actually don't know that here. Let's play this. Roll. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. We are moving up in the world. Hmm. We already really powerful. I'm taking Divine Shield. Like our guy's already really big. Okay, well, there's Divine Shield and Poisonous. Cool! Now I'm that guy. Crunch. Okay, um, let's hack this. Maybe it gives us another Bran. Okay, I'll get another Begurgle, sure. Oh, there's the other Bran. <laughs> okay, now you give me a Megasaur. Ah, oh, unlucky. The fourth Bran. Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, hmm. Oh my god, it's lagging. Ah. Ah, I didn't get in there. Oh well. Wasn't the triple bait? I don't really care. I'm just trying to do crazy things. <laughs> it just suddenly lagged when I was I was playing that last thing. That was really gross. But I mean, all of my guys are gigantic, so. Oh, missed lethal. Unlucky. Here, let's get some taunts on these guys. So I have more things I can buff them with. Give me a... Uh... Ah, uh, unlucky. Ooh, a shifter Zerus. It could be anything. It could be a boat. It could literally be a boat! Family Guy was right! This could also be a boat. We should put this back here, I guess. Play around cleaves. Freeze for another Xeris. I think we'll I think we'll pass on that one. But this one, we just need more Megasaurs, right? Oh, what an adorable composition you have. This isn't even, like, that late in the game. This is turn 13, which is, like, you know, that's, that's like, the, you know, t like, the end game or whatever. But it's not like, you know, this game's been going on forever, so of course I have gigantic, you know, unstoppable Divine Shield Poisonous things.
Okay. Me and you, Eudora. <gasps> oh, wow! It was anything. All right, we're gonna hack this. Unlucky. Look at that. Bagurgal. Cold Light Seer. Rock Pool. All right, well. A boat. Should I buy the boat just for memes? No. Who does play against? What do you even have? Rude. I'm gonna leave this in for the possible triple. Not that, you know, there's gonna be another turn of the game, but, you know, theoretically. Oh, we could have, it's true, we could have gotten plus one gold from Murazond because of the triple brand, and maybe even tripled off of it. Well, what do you know? 100% win, 100% lethal. I am shocked. Will he kill a single unit? No, the answer is no. <laughs> What do you know? Hook Tusk? Totally fair hero. Completely, absolutely.